Afternoon. So, it's been 24 hours since the rain has stopped. The sun is out. It literally just came out like five minutes ago. You can still see where the deck is damp. But I'm going to try and finish mowing. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, I don't mow where the grass is wet, typically. I live on a slope. Um, and the zero turn mower doesn't always like to stop on the steeper parts. But, uh, you know, I live up against a forest. Things like copperheads like the tall grass. Because the rodents like the tall grass. So, mowing is an important thing. Let me see if I can get it done. Talk to you in a few. Isn't it nice when the grass is mowed? Now I went over and emptied the dirty water out of the panda pool and refilled it with fresh cold water. So they're playing. And then they go over and jump in the pool and they come back and play in the grass. And why it is so important. Copperheads can't hide. They like the tall grass. The critters that they want to eat like the tall grass want to keep the grass short. They don't have voles. They don't have moles. They don't have copperheads. They don't have black snakes. It's easier on the dogs. It's easier on me. It's easier on the chickens. Hi, kitty, Blaze. It's easier on kitty, too. So, I like keeping the grass mid. And you can tell, you know, where the, the steepness is right there at the power pole that I got to do with the DR trimmer. How tall the grass hat was. Tall enough to hide a snake. All right, I, uh, I'm going to go walk up and show you where that branch came down. Talk to you in a few. Pretty sure another branch fell, or it moved, enough to create enough noise that they are now mad. You know. What was it? What was it? Go, go check it out. Go check it out. Okay, let's check it out. Come on. I know. What is it? Mom, is it? Let's check it out. Walk on. Walk on. See, now I've already been up here with the riding lawnmower. You can tell why the grass has been mowed. I know you heard the tree fall, huh? I know. Heard the tree fall. Oh my goodness. So, the easiest way to say that, the one you see down here in front, that's been down. It's just stuck in the Y of the tree, so I can't get it down any farther. But all the stuff behind it, makes sense, that's all new. Whew. My hill's a little steep. Not only is that new, it makes sense, but the whole top of that branch is gone, that tree. So there's a lot of, there's a lot down. So again, first branch has been down. You can now see there's one sitting on top of it. That's part of the new branch. And then the one over here, that's the one you can see from down at the driveway. That's the new branch. So there's two branches at least off of this one that are just completely down. And then whatever they took down with it. You gotta zoom out so you can see the... There's a mess and there's still one hanging in there. It's a small one, but it's still hanging. And again, having said that, the whole top of that one's gone. It's, uh, it's all up over here. Just, you know, branch upon branch upon branch. It's down. Yeah, now? Got some branchy pieces over here. I got some branchy pieces everywhere. So I've got some cleanup up here to do. Um, looks like something off of this tree came down as well. Kind of right there. You can see I got branch pieces. It busted part of the sassafras here. So, you know, the sooner I get the uh, firewood shed built, huh, the sooner I'll be able to spend time up here and clean that the top mess up. And then the other one, because I know I've not shown it on film yet. That I know came down is that one. I 
it's the same thing. It's got one going in front that I know was down, and then this one here in the back, that's the new one that's down. You can see that, that there's like one branch sticking up off of that tree. That's all that's left. Um, yeah, that's an awesome firewood. You know? See if I can pull it to the right so it'll unattach here at the left, and then I can bring it down here to the road, and I can just process firewood. I know that I'm standing up here. There's a... Let's see if I can find it on film. Yep, right there. There's another tree branch. It looks like down. Or the tree itself is dead. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not hiking all the way up there. You know, tiggers, chicks. I don't typically mow this area of grass. Or, or trim it or, or anything. Does that make sense? It's where the power lines are. And if they want it mowed or trimmed, they can mow and trim it. Um, I will end up doing this area, though. So I can process that tree. Just not today. You know, it's not today's goal. Alright, having said that, I'm going to finish walking my trail. Or my, my, the upper loop. And uh, see if I got anything else down. Talk to y'all later. Clouds are moving in. I'm going to see if I can get the rock off the hill. Bring it down here where it's supposed to be. Or where it will be long term. Um, probably not in the path. I think it's too big to go there where I still have a piece of wood. So it's probably going to be the next rock in this area. But for right now, it's just get it and the other rocks that I've got sitting up there down the hill. You know, I have a few minutes. Let's take care of something. Talk to you in a few. So I didn't show. I stuck one of the smaller rocks there. In the driveway. Or excuse me, on the walkway. It's the upper left rock and then uh stuck the newest one down there and he's got like three or four smaller rocks underneath him to hold him flat um again that's the goal to get myself a, a rock path all the way down and around long term so one rock at a time Talk to you later. Gotta love a clueless weatherman. So right now the weatherman says I'm not going to get any rain at all. Clouds are darker. Clouds are thicker. But he says I'm not going to get any rain. I do now. I can't. I just... Whatever. I don't... You know. He doesn't know. It's all good. So I kind of continued on with what I was doing. I had a grapevine starting to grow up my... my hickory tree there and I took the grapevine down it's it's only allowed to grow on its on its stand there to the left so that's kind of what's laying on the ground there it'll die I did the same thing with my large cherry down there that one um, just took off a bunch of low-hanging branches you know I can walk on it put my arm up and not hit anything which is always awesome and then I um, came over and with my girlfriend over here and uh, trimmed everything around her so you can see her well. Still gave her her grass, or left her her, her wild herbs and, and, and edibles and so on down the line all around her so you can see her. There is one rose in bloom. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. It's on the right side of the tree now. You can't see it. It's all right. It's just the start of things to come. You know, I can see it. I know it's there. Pretty soon she will be surrounded in pink. All right, I won't lie, I put the dogs in the house, let them get some water. I am probably going to go back and get the rake and work a little bit with the dirt piles. Again, it's not raining yet. I think I'll stop and I'll give the chickens some raisins first because they've been good chickens all day. That's what I'm thinking. Talk to you later.